Hello everybody, welcome back to JTP. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the state of New Hampshire and is Don Bullduck getting closer to the finish line? So before we get started, please like and subscribe if you have not already. It supports the channel. I'm trying to reach 1,000 at least by the end of the year. Uh, if you could really subscribe, that would be great. Imagine. I'm probably gonna get 200 views on this video or so. If everyone just subscribed, I'd reach 800. And with those 800 subscribers, it would really inspire me to make more videos, such as New York Times election time lapses, predictions. And I'm working on an associated, or I forgot the name. Um, if you want to see a um, quick shot, I sent it or put it on as a post. So yeah, it really inspires me if you could actually subscribe. But again, it's up to you. Um, so yeah, so in the state of New Hampshire, a really interesting race, um, the GOP PIC is now funding Don Bullduck, which they previously invested on Joe O'Dea, an unelectable candidate, um, not meaning like he's a horrible candidate, well he is a rhino, but like the fact that Colorado is a blue state. Even him being a rhino, uh, they're still favoring Michael Bennett. The state is far gone for the GOP. Um, the last time I ever went red, I'm not even sure if it went red in 2010. Um, so yeah, honestly, I think it'll be um, not much of a problem for Michael Bennett. But the state's about New Hampshire. So going into New Hampshire, in 2016, um, in the presidential level, Hillary Clinton won against Donald Trump. And Trump wasn't exactly too popular in New Hampshire. Um, so, yeah I, yeah, I mean. And then in 2020, Trump being the incumbent lost by a horrible margin. And here's the thing that goes on and on. People say that the incumbent usually is not favored in New Hampshire. So, if we go to all the way back to Bush's time, 2000, Bush wanted to see. 2004, he was an incumbent. Despite 9-11 and all, he lost the state. 2008, Obama won with like 11. 2012, he won with 5. So, a 6 point decrease. Then 2016, Democrats are the incumbent and it's significantly decreased. Trump was the incumbent, now it's significantly decreased as well. So, now if we repeat that same pattern in the Senate level, um, well, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same to the center level, but still, Biden is president, that's going to have some impact. Now, will Don Bolduc managed to pull this thing off? Well, in the primary, if you didn't know, he barely won against Chuck Morse. Um, well, that's just some say. Um, in polls, it's becoming really closer. Plus one, plus three, uh, plus two and all. So now it's a tie, essentially. Um, and those pull him tied in coefficient. So, I think this race is going to be closer than people expect. Um, Tulsi Gabbard endorsed him, uh, as we can see here. And, you know, I think it's going to be a state to watch in election night. I think it would be called pretty late. And if actually, if we go to RCP, hopping back over here, you go to New Hampshire. Hassan's in the lead, but it's decreasing. And Bullduck is in the lead with about a point if you apply the historic underestimation so if you apply that thing I just said it went closer and closer so yeah I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the state of New Hampshire do I think go go oh yeah let me check the early vote I'm sorry to show you that so um, I'm doing in the registered party right now and this Chris Ununu is running for governor um, and this could take an account on the Republican Democrat numbers, but either way, it could impact the Senate level. It's significantly decreased for Republicans gain, Democrats decreased. And I think we're going to see an early vote going down for Republicans. The thing is, because, well, I think Republicans would do good in the early vote, at least from 2020, but the thing is, uh, Republicans are going to vote more in, um, in person after 2020. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I will consider the state of New Hampshire as a toss-up. Maybe I'll do a prediction. Um, maybe 
next Sunday or this Sunday or Friday, honestly, or the weekend or the week. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah, bye.